Hi guys, Glory Hunter back, and we've got some more game haulage for you. And uh, so we've got some really good stuff today as well. Some big hitters off my list on uh, a couple of consoles. Uh, even got some PS1 stuff for you to take a look at. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see what we've been collecting. So first off, we'll start off with a new title I've got. Bought this brand new uh, just after I got back off holiday. Uh, before I went on holiday, it was going for about I can't remember 68 quid. Um, but game was selling. Prey limited edition for 30 quid. So I thought I'd pick that up, give that a blast. Played the uh, beta, thought it was pretty cool. So you get some extra bits with it. Obviously, we have our game. And in this game, we even have some kind of manual. Now that's rare. So we've got a, a little leaflet on the Dishonored and Morrowind stuff coming out. We have a Prey leaflet book the game controls and our DLC code with all our DLC extras so we're going to get a shotgun some ammo and bits and bobs the limited edition as well as that we got our steel book so we've got the male and the female version with the side the dual steel book and inside we have the soundtrack as well I popped it in there just to keep it Safe, keep stop the disc scratching and just getting bent. It's quite a nice steel book to be fair. Anyway, moving on to the rest of our pickups. So, a couple of trips. Uh, first trip, the standard trip into Leicester, into town. Uh, just taking a look what uh, what was going on after getting back off holidays and stuff. Uh, picked a few little bits. Obviously, went to CX, uh, did some trades, some stuff I picked up the car boot and found a couple of titles. So, first of all, we got Vex on the OG Xbox, only two quid, obviously box complete, uh, looks like a nice little platformer, uh, looks pretty cool to be fair, so we're definitely giving that a blast. Did also pick up Star Wars Battlefront, the, the first one on the OG Xbox, um, I'd seen it a few times, it was uh, around eight quid, went in this time, they've got a copy for six pounds, so yeah, picked that straight up, got it home. It just wouldn't play. Wouldn't play on my OG, it wouldn't play on my 360, just wouldn't load. It got to the first kind of load screen, just crashed, stopped working. To be fair, the disc was in quite bad state, and, and the front of it, some of the artwork had been scratched off, so I weren't too fussed about taking it back. Uh, I'd like a better copy, which I would easily pick up at some point. Um, it was just a shame and a bit of a hassle. Uh, but we took that back, got our credit back for some stuff we spent another day, which we'll get to in a bit. So while we're in there, we also nipped into the old cash converters to see what they had. They had quite a lot of um, PS1 stuff as well, to be fair. Um, I've managed to pick up one. Uh, this was only four quid. Not too bad for a PS1 game. It's in pretty good condition, almost mint. It's Martian Gothic Unification. So it's kind of... Oh, sorry about the glare. It's so sunny today. Very bloody hot as well. Um, it's kind of a survival horror game set I think on Mars yeah set on Mars third person you play as three different characters um, so three kind of stories to play that's quite interesting don't know if you can really see get this glare out of the way a few screenshots awful glare but yeah gonna give that a blast book like I say mint condition not been not being fondled and our disc. So nice to get some PS1 stuff again. They had a few other titles. Uh, took a picture for you to look at here. Um, we've got, obviously had some good titles. Bloody Roll 3, I don't really come across it very often. Siberia 1 and 2, definitely looking at getting them. Uh, that weren't too bad. Obviously Hack, they had 18 quid. Um, Forbidden Siren 1 and 2, quite rarish or expensive games. I've got the first one, definitely want the second one, so I weren't sure if to pick it up or not. £15. Uh, it's not too bad a price, it's almost kind of what they go for, I suppose, it is around that. And like I said, they had a few of the ex um, PS1 stuff as well, but nothing really worth picking up or they were quite bad condition. Uh, they also had some stuff in the works. Uh, got, again, a couple of pictures for you to see. A few art books, obviously Halo 5, nice thick art book. That was going for a tenner and World of Warcraft art, if that's your kind of thing, as well as the still have the stock in the stuff we had before. 
and obviously a nice chocolate kind of PlayStation controller if you wanted to treat anyone uh, maybe for Th Father's Day anything like that um, if they've still got them in stock obviously this kind of stuff in the works is almost sometimes limited so when it's gone it's gone kind of thing I try and get rid of the stock uh, but I thought I'd show you guys just to let you know and that was our trip to Leicester so not a great deal couple of couple of bits um, however the car boot video I picked I posted a couple of weeks back uh, when we were in Misha and we were speaking to a lady uh, who said the other half had got a shop in Burton a Burton somewhere we were looking at going anyway we'd not never really been before and I wanted to kind of go out and try other places quite lucky where I am because you can get to quite a few different places all within kind of half an hour drive and I've got a good range of places to go to and Burton's one we've not been to so far I had a few days off nice and sunny let's go out and see what they got to so check out these uh, the shop called Game Changers uh, which we'll get to at the end because it was near the end of the trip um, but yeah we went over and seen what was cracking off over there so obviously started off with CEX uh, it was one of the kind of first doors we've come to anyway in the in the mall um, found a title which I've kind of been after for a little while um, don't come across it too often uh, four quid Resident Evil Dead Aim on the PS2 uh, there's a sequel as well that I'm after, so you can play it a light gun game and you can play it as like a third person traditional kind of resi game as well, it's kind of strange, uh, interested to play it, obviously box complete. And then we picked up a monster tile, one which obviously I've been after to get in the OG collection, one that uh, kind of a lot of people want, um, obviously sought after. Uh, price can range quite a bit I, I thought this was quite cheap I'd seen it for like 50 pound in some places um, but yeah they had two copies there so I got the best of both like obviously, obviously took the better case because one was all ripped up like a dog had chewed it uh, but it had the best manual in it so I took the manual out of that one then asked to see both discs and obviously took the both best disc and that is Conquer live and reloaded got it for 12 pound so yeah, not too bad. I had a chunk of uh, credit anyway, so easily half that. Obviously, box complete. The manual is in good condition because I've picked the best one. The disc does have a few minor lights, kind of surface marks. Nothing, nothing too bad. Uh, it plays fine, so that's all good. Nice to get this on the list, especially now it is announced that Xbox One will be playing original Xbox games so I don't know if the price of these games are going to shoot back up or are they going to plummet down who knows um, I think the prices might go back up after people want to play them again on their Xbox now that they can play the discs on the Xbox when that's released so glad to pick this up now then we went over to game just to stick our head in see what was going on uh, add a, a look at some of the 360 titles they've got a deal on which is obviously buy two get one free um, just looking through them, didn't really see anything, then came across this. Now I was trying to <laughs> explain to the missus and kind of just myself, myself buying this game. It's a terrible game, obviously, it's not what I want to play. It's £15, she's like, why do you want to buy this game for £15? Um, obviously those that know are already like, wow, uh, those that don't know, let me explain a little bit. So, after I was trying to explain to her that I need to, to get this game either in the collection or to trade on, she was just like, I, I don't get it, why? I was trying to, like, it, it goes for loads of money, like, you can sell it for massive profit. She's like, I don't believe she started looking on CX and found this. So she was looking, she just turned to me and went, buy it, get it now. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, okay, so we're going to get a massive profit on this. Um, just just trade it straight in CEX. Might even get the easy 1000G on it, obviously, horsing me too. Um, £15 from game. When I took it to the guy on the counter, it was like, oh, do you want to protect your disc for an extra pound? I was like, mate, this is going straight in CEX for like 40, 60 quid credit. 
I'm not bothered. He just kind of looked at me like, what? I was like, yeah, like this is a really rare, expensive game. He's like, oh, I've never seen it before. Well, that's because you don't know what you're on about because they employ Muppets now in game. Uh, but anyway, we got it. Box complete. The manual does have kind of a rip on the back where they just put them stupid stickers. I'm not bothered. I'm not going to keep it. It's going to get traded in for a whole wad of profit and credit for something that I really want. I'm going to hit one of my big titles off my uh, my Dreamcast, probably Grandia or Evolution 2. So it's going to take a good chunk out of it. Um, I might even get the quick 1000G on it first, just to have it on my gamer tag and prove that I actually had this game once upon a time in my collection for a couple of days. I was considering keeping it, but with the profit I can get with it and the games that I really do want, it is getting chopped in for now. Obviously, we're looking for some other titles in the deal to see if we can get anything. Found this, Divinity, uh, Sega 2, Dragon Knight, Sega, Saga. Uh, it comes with the Ego Draconis and the Flames of Vengeance. So it's got both kind of games in it. And it obviously, that'll put Fiverr in the, in the deal. Buy two, get one free. Uh, they also had the original one, which is just the Ego Draconis. And that was eight quid. For just the first game and five for both so that was a bit weird that's games logic um so I obviously pick this one up it goes to the same price in no it doesn't this one is a little bit cheaper in game but technically i got it free anyway so went too fast um obviously box complete great condition and the third one i found this was a fiver and this is again a fiver in game anyway and it's the collector's edition of painkiller hell and damnation um Limited edition, or collector's edition, so it's got a load of extra stuff in, in it, which I'll show you. Um, never really played it. I'm pretty sure I heard that it was a poor game, or pretty bad, but something to blast through, something to add to the collection. It's co-op as well. I do like some co-op stuff. Um, so let's take a look at what was actually in this box. Obviously the game. Box complete, and this wasn't out on the shelf, it was at the back. Great condition, this mint, manual's not been touched. And then a load of extra stuff inside the box. So we have a DVD making of the collector's soundtrack in the little wallets, which haven't even been opened or used. This in mint condition. A little booklet with all the, the songs on and the lyrics. That's quite nice. We have two postcards. Some nice artwork. Two posters with similar artwork to the postcards. So there's one. And the second one. Great. Again, mint condition, never been used. Never been opened, I don't think. We have a sheet of stickers, some random stuff, and an art book, which isn't hardback. It's a, just a, like an, almost a manual. It's quite thick. It's got some nice stuff in it. So I'll flip through that, some pretty good artwork. So that's quite nice. Add everything in it, so that was good. And got one of them free anyway. And obviously the massive profit from my horse and me too. Also while I was in there, picked up um, the two new Final Fantasy Opus 2 start sets. So Final Fantasy 9 and Type 0. So got them in the collection as well. Then we went outside, found the cash converters, uh, had a quick look around. They got a lot of stuff kind of going on sale, they knocked a lot of prices down. We found Super Mario 64 DS for six quid. Six quid again. Some I can trade in for £14 at the minute. So, again, a load of profit making on that. It's not got its manual, just got its disc, not bothered, still gonna get the same price for it. So, good day for profit. That's so going straight in CX with My Horse and Me too, And we've got, yeah, a ton of profit now. Just like 60 odd quid profit coming out of that. So, that's definitely going towards either, well, Grandia I can get for free. I take a good chunk out of Evolution 2 if I want to. So we'll have a look which one we can get. And I found a Steelbook book version of Crackdown 2. It's actually the second time I've seen that that day. I think I've seen another one in CX, but the case was all smashed up and damaged. This has a couple of stickers on it which you can get off. And it's not in bad nick. So complete. So I'll be swapping that over or maybe even keeping it with my regular version of Crackdown. That was only two quid as well. And also we had kind of the Steelbook of Fortune Leash 2. So we've got Hero and Darth. This one was four quid. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have a slip cover, which it didn't have, so it's a bit of a shame about that. Obviously complete. Manuals in pristine condition. It also has the um, the code 
for the extra content. Not tried it yet, so I don't know if it works. Hoping it does. So yeah, so we've got them from Cash Converters. Uh, there weren't a lot more around. There's a lot of charity shops. There's a string of them. We looked in all of them. Either some of them didn't even have games in, and the rest of them just had like two or three games, mostly on the PS2 and all football, all FIFA's, nothing else. So didn't get anything from any of them. Not a shame. Uh, but we had a good look round and spent the day there. And then uh, we went down a little walk, quite a bit of a walk, down to Game Changers. Um, found it quite easy. It's uh, got in there, the woman recognised us from the car boot. We had a, a, a massive chat, we were in there for ages, like great, great people in there, uh, just talking about games and in general and everything really. Um, really nice people, made us really welcome. Uh, so it was really nice, had a good look round, got some footage to show you as well. Um, which I'll probably show you first and then we'll take a look at what we've bought. So yeah, had some good stuff in there. Uh, like I said, had a good chat. It was really, really nice to, to meet them. Uh, they run a lot of competitions as well. Uh, check out their Facebook page. They have, they've got a Facebook page. So if you're locally ashore in the UK, um, give them a, a shout, nip over and check out the shop. Uh, I, as obviously I was having a chat with him. It'd not been open long, I think, just after Christmas, he said. Um, so go over and see what they've got. They're always getting new stuff traded in. They post up on the, face, on the Facebook. So check that out and you can see what they've got coming in. So the bits we did pick up, and um, we got some good deals on as well, I, I think. Uh, so the first one on the PS1 was Tunnel B1, two quid. It's almost in mint condition, not a mark on the case. The manual, again, mint condition, not a mark, flat and minty. Never been thumbed. And the disc as well, yeah mint condition not a mark on it so cannot complain this was one of the games i've seen in cash converters in leicester and it didn't have i think the inlay at the front it just had the manual and the, the case was smashed the disc was messed up so i'm glad i held off and got this almost perfect copy so that's awesome and another uh, ps1 title we got one i've been after for so long i wanted this when it first came out don't know why i never got it first game was awesome loved it to bits Medieval 2, yes, 8 quid as well, 8 quid, I see this around a few times and it's going like £15 I think was the cheapest I'd seen it, so for £8, could not leave it, um, it's got a little bit of a, where 
stick your mark where the sticker had been, get that off, no problem. You know, even swap the case, but the case is in mint condition. So other than that, it's, it's fantastic, like not a crack, which you see all the time on PS2, PS1 cases. Uh, again, the manual, mint condition, not a mark, not a problem, not been thumbed on that. And the disc as well, yeah, not a mark on it, absolutely minty. So, well happy with that. And oh, so I didn't lay. And many will too. And now, for me, the the big one. The, the one that I've wanted for so long. It's, I think it's quite a rare game to get a hold of on the OG. Um, a, a Facebook group I'm on with, always talking about this game. It's one I've been after for ages. Um, I've only ever seen it once in the wild before, and it was £30. Um, this was one of the first games I found when I went in the shop. I just picked it up, seen the price, and I was like, don't even care, I'm taking it. I, I want this game. For £10, we got Call of Cthulhu, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome game on the OG, I hear. It's kind of a first person survival horror. Um, yeah, cannot wait to play this game. It's supposed to be so good, really scary. I like my horror games. Box complete. Manual is in pristine, minty, flat condition. Again, not been thumbed. So happy with the condition of these games. Um, the disc, yeah, not a mark on it. Nice and shiny. £10. So, so happy. Like I say, great shop. Definitely go check it out. Go have a chat with the guys. They they really are awesome. They're really nice people. Um, I've completely forgot their names. I'm sorry. I apologise um, if you're watching. Uh, Sarah's going to check me up, my stuff out. So hopefully you have. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, keep an eye on the on the Facebook. Like I say, they run competitions and stuff. He has a, a competition at the minute, which is beat the boss and. You play, I think it's one of the FIFA games. I'm not a FIFA fan, um, but if you can beat him, you get a chance to win the newest FIFA game. And the other, I think it's Tekken tournaments and stuff as well. But like I say, I'll leave the, the Facebook details here. Go check them out, go check the shop out if you're anywhere near. Run over and see what they've got. Um, check out the footage we've got for the shop, and yeah, some great prices in there on stuff. And um, we'll definitely be going over it again picking up some more. And the only th other thing we checked out when we were there is we heard about this board game shop or gaming shop uh, which was kind of the other end to where game changers were so we took a walk down there. Uh, massive store, loads of stuff if you like your board games, tabletop games, like any model war fighting games, uh, any kind of game, yeah awesome shop. Um, it's, I think it's called Spirit or Spiritual Games um, so go check them out that was awesome as well. We did pick up um, a few bits and bobs, uh, probably nothing you guys might be interested in, so I'm going to leave it out of the video for now. Um, but yeah, loads of stuff in there, and we'll be going back to get some other expansions for my Carcassonne and what have you um, that is getting in for us. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for staying tuned and checking out our stuff we got today. I'm glad to get some of these quality titles knocked off my list uh, on our road to maybe getting a full set of the OG so stay tuned for that subscribe to see those future videos uh, hit a like if you've enjoyed this video um, and the, the stuff from playing once again any of these games you have let me know in the comments tell me what your thoughts about these games are um, are you happy I got my horse and me too <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> yeah thanks again to all the new subscribers and uh, thanks for watching guys it does mean a lot and we will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.